It's the loudest, hottest, most dangerous television show in the world. Come on in. It's time for Tommy's Garage. We're back. Yeah. It's time for the professional. <laughs> yes, this is when Tommy's Garage invites three professional entertainers to pay the rent by working that corner down by the railroad tracks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's say hello to Reed Becker. Yeah. And of course, Sammy returns to further shame himself. Yeah. 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 But most important, we have A.D. Hodge. Yeah. Let's start this segment in California. Why? Oh, California. Everybody knows liberal policies are chasing businesses out of California. Well, this is Elon Musk. Whether it's cars, rockets, or technology, he's the he's one of the world's great innovators, and he's a billionaire, multi-billionaire actually. But this week, he dared to say California's lockdown laws are unconstitutional, and he threatened to leave the state. Hmm. So did California's liberal lawmakers beg him to stay? Not exactly. San Diego Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez defiantly tweeted. Freak Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> or something to that effect. Anyway, I guess Raina Boobs for Brains Gonzalez doesn't think Elon Musk's 20,000 employees making $100,000 a year paying taxes and all that are really needed in California, Reed. Yeah, actually, there's been some new developments. Uh, California is now okay with him opening uh, Tesla back up as long as he puts a statue of Moloch at the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> so, <it> just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love it. Four of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I hate to say, I think Lorena is kind of guilty because I think that's what actually she wants to do to Elon Musk. <laughs> I mean, who would not want to be next to a billionaire that can literally move his headquarters anywhere in the world? <laughs> good point. Oh, Bashar, come on. We all know that those evil corporatists don't really do good stuff. Only elected officials come up with things that actually help people. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a job when you have a printing press? Yeah. Oh. That is a bell and a hammer right there. You know, look, that's the difference between California and Texas. In California, you make a billion dollars, they take a billion dollars. In Texas, you make a billion dollars, you keep a billion dollars. But in Texas, the guy with the money has to bring the beer. That's true. <laughs> That's why Sammy always brings a case to Tommy's garage. <laughs> Where's my billion dollar? Yeah. That's what I've been wanting to know for a long time here, Sammy. <laughs> Let's stay in California. Why not? It's a target-rich environment, right? In San Francisco, they found a novel way. They found a novel way to keep the homeless quarantined. They offer them free food, free booze, and free drugs to stay in San Francisco's nicest hotels. Yes. What do you know? It seems to be working, Reed. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I live there, so you have to tell me about this place. Look. <laughs> I will say this, it's rare to find a city that is both full of crap and covered in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. Uh, not a lot, not a lot. No, honestly, if it keeps the boo-boo out the streets, um, keep doing your thing, San Francisco. You're making a lot more other places look, I guess, decent. Okay. <laughs> So you take the so you take the poop off the streets and you put it in the No, hotel. wait, hold on. We had a white question. What'd you say? What's boo boo? What's boo boo? What's boo boo, my other white friend? Boo boo! Thank thank you. Bonics lesson number one on Tommy's Garage. Oh. You can also listen to it by Devin the Dude, Boo Booing. Okay, there we go, <laughs> Sam. Well, what a triumph of Will California has become. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the testimonials on that. Yeah, I was sleeping on the street with a bubonic plague. <laughs> and they give me a hotel room where I can take a dump in the middle of a king-size bed. <laughs> and they still bring me all the fixings to satisfy my nasty drug addiction. <laughs> Thanks, drug hub. Drug hub. Drug hub. I can vote for a living and keep my dignity. That's <laughs> California's new slogan. <laughs> Elon Musk, are you listening? Don't leave, Cal don't leave California now. You can get a free nickel bag of weed. Yeah. Hey. 
Well, Texans can gloat all they want, but they're not immune to stupidity. <laughs> a Texas couple named Darius and Shelly Maxey wow. had a polyamorous marriage. That means you can go zork anybody. <laughs> <laughs> But it wasn't working out. No kidding. <laughs> Until they brought Camilla into their marriage. Yes. Who's Camilla? A sex robot. Oh, you can custom honor them any way you want. They even programmed Camilla with a Scottish accent, of all things. They make an interesting threesome, wouldn't you say, Reed? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even though she's a robot, I wonder about consent, let's be honest. <laughs> World, this don't end well, man. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. Go wrong. Go wrong. <laughs> Best thing I can say is uh, Wicked Witch of the West meets Candyman meets Cripplebot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they say in marriage you kind of lose some things, so I guess they got the robot to suck it all in. Okay. <laughs> See, you keep that one. That's two oh. hammers. You keep the two hammers. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you, you rock on there, Dollar General Wilson Phillips and Urkel. Uh, <laughs> 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 and, and a Scottish accent. Well, do more arigato, Mr. Roboto. He gets you Oshimi tall, baby. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering, though, why Scottish? Because I, I worked... I worked with Scottish folks on cruise lines, and, and there's nothing sexy about it when they're drunk. <laughs> it's a lot of, how did this, how did this, what in the hell are you talking about? Roddy, Roddy, Piper language. No, what they should have done was Australian, because that way you feel good about throwing a shrimp in the barbie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It was all funny until I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a skinny black dude wearing a bow tie and a restaurant flair, married to a chubby white chick with green hair, in love with an Asian robot with big booty, and a Hispanic name who speaks with a Scottish accent. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And they got her in a way. Send nobody on planet Earth ever! <laughs> and and they last. Call that Lionel Richie. <laughs> 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 and last, for all you chunky people out there, scientists have discovered the missing link to your fat ass. <laughs> yes, they finally found the obesity gene, and they learned how to disable it. Yes. Reed, this is good news for a lot of people. Yeah, uh, it is. Now if they can only find the stupid gene, you know? I mean, uh, yeah. They've been looking for that a long time. I know. But I keep I, looking at the genes is right, the problem. Right? Keep looking. I, Exactly. I suggest we start with Biden, personally. <laughs> it could be a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need big people in the world, and I think this is a disappointment. I love my big people. Uh, good point. <laughs> yeah, we do. I mean, everybody ain't supposed to be the same size. We're supposed to be all different. Big, small, medium. It's supposed to be a portion. So let me make sure I get my fair share of fat women for this new jingle. Right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I want the big bitches for me. About y'all, I love my big bitches. Okay? <laughs> I don't care. One thing you can guarantee with a BBW is that you're gonna get a free meal. Sam, <laughs> bam! <laughs> Up top, there we go. All right. <laughs> that was three bells. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, but you know the problem with being a chubby chaser is you can usually catch them. Uh, <laughs> Like, Woo! Woo! I gotta lay down. Woo! Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> if you fix the obesity gene, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stay fat. That way I'll be unique. There you go. <laughs> and besides that, I'll be the only guy really taking advantage of the buffet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a reason behind the madness. Right. Look, this may be true, but it's not gonna help Brian Stelter one bit. <laughs> Because even if he got skinny, he's still stupid, and he's still ugly, and he's still a wussy. You can't escape that. With a code of sack. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a fun segment. Let's have these guys read A.D. and Sam. <laughs> and, of course, let's welcome back Tommy's Garage announcer, Matthew Gidry. Matt, what's coming up next on Tommy's Garage? It's the Bigot Lottery. You don't want to miss this. Only on Tommy's Garage. Hey!
Boom, boom, boom. It's the bigot lottery. I hope that doesn't look like me. Yeah. Yes, it's the bigot lottery sponsored by Triple A Trophy right here in Houston, Texas, and they never come to a show. Have you noticed that? They're smart. Every week we find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things, and we force ourselves to guess the race of the idiot, thus proving the futility of bigotry. At least that's a theory. And so far, it's worked pretty damn well. Yeah. 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 Joining us, the lovely Jamie Cruz. <laughs> the chocolate thunder, Mr. Gavin Babineau. <laughs> and Rosie returns to commit his further record of shame. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? Matthew, what are we playing for today? Five... Dollars. Woohoo! Yeah! I'll, you what, I'll, throw in, I'll throw in a dollar on that. Oh, my oh gosh, six bucks. Yeah, I'll match that. Seven dollars? Seven dollars. Oh my god, you're playing for seven dollars today. <laughs> Panel, are you ready to play Big Lottery? Yeah! yeah. Audience, are you ready to play Big Lottery? Yeah! You folks are Come on, play the Big Lottery. Let's start in Florida. Why? We'll see. <laughs> a woman had a confrontation with her boyfriend. It happened in a mobile home park. What? what? <laughs> owned, owned by his mother. What? <laughs> who, by the way, who, by the way, has full custody of their four children. What? <laughs> uh, it seems as if the relationship is a bit volatile. Anyway, she became upset when the boyfriend closed the window in the bedroom. That made her very angry. And apparently that was all it took to start a full-scale war. She looked for the nearest weapon she could find. She grabbed it and she smashed it upside his head. What was the weapon? A fat, juicy hamburger. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> However, when police arrived, she denied it, but the cops actually found pieces of the burger lodged in the guy's ear. <laughs> True story. She was previously convicted of assaulting her boyfriend and served three months in jail for battery, along with previous convictions for theft and narcotics. Yeah. We can now add assault with a hamburger to that impressive list. <laughs> <laughs> but is our temperamental burger tosser white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? Rosie. The only people I know that have ear burgers are white people. Rosie's going white. Yeah, I'm going to go with some of my uh, knuckleheads. Those are, th that sounds like something that uh, the saltine American would do. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I see the point. Okay. So, Florida, trailer park. Yeah. <laughs> Ear and burgers. A burger. <laughs> go with white. <laughs> Jamie Probably goes white right also. Drugs. Gavin, are you going with the status quo or are you going to be a little different? different? I'm going to dare to be oh, different. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to dare to be different. God, I hope it's not white. I really do. But <laughs> oh, I'm going to say Hispanic. I'm going to. Yeah. Wow. I'm so gonna Hispanic. Be what do you guys think out here? What do you think? <laughs> Let's meet the lady you put the hell in the hamburger helper. <laughs> Tanya Cordero, she is Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> Who had it out? Who had it? <laughs> not bad, not bad. All right. Look, I never heard of somebody smacking somebody eating with a burger, but I guess he heard it coming. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> In Ohio, a woman called 911. She was reporting a fire. Her house? No. Her car? No. Forest fire? Not exactly. She called the local fire department because her hoo-ha was on fire. Whoa! <laughs> And she asked the fire department to come over as fast as possible to put the fire out with her hose. Yeah. Her words, not mine, and they're true. <laughs> when the fire department arrived, fortunately, there was no fire. Oh. They did, however, recognize the smell of alcohol, which is flammable. So they brought her to the county jail just to make sure there's no further conflagration. <laughs> okay. She was booked for disrupting a public service, a felony, making false alarms, and resisting arrest. So, is our woman with a flame throwing hoo ha, white, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie? This is Ohio? This is Ohio. Flaming hoo ha? Flaming hoo ha. Flaming. I'm gonna go with uh, the same thing on the air burgers. I'm gonna go with the flaming hoo ha. It's gotta be white. All right, Rosie well, goes white. I'm gonna say white the whole show. <laughs> and white on all of them. It's a safe bet for crying out loud. We know yeah, that pretty already. Pretty much. I'm, I'm, I get one out of three. <laughs> she couldn't find any other hose to put the fire out? Uh huh. Nope. Oh. She has she to be called. white. Oh, we're going right on that one. Gavin, what do you think? I'm, I'm gonna. Dare to be different? Be yeah, different. yeah. This, no, no. I guess. You gotta go black on this Something one. Something tells me this is black. <laughs> now, I was really hoping that this was gonna be like a Nair type incident, but I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> so you're going black? Yeah, this is like that scene in like Malcolm X all over again, right? Oh man! <laughs> Whoa! What do you guys think out here? Black. Black. Wow! Let's meet. Let's meet the lady who wanted a distinguished extinguisher, Katrina Morgan. She's a cracker. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what you get for daring to be different. 
different. Who had it? Who had it? I did. Oh. No wonder she couldn't get a hose. Jessica hey, my my advice, my advice: if a woman tells you her hoo ha's on fire, take her very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and last, and last, all sorts of characters have shown up at all these different riots, right? Yeah. It's quite ironic, but many of these violent protesters are actually delicate little snowflakes. How do we know? Because one of them brought an emotional support animal to the riots. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, the rioters all needed an emotional support animal at the Portland riots because rioting can be very tough on these precious Antifa types, yes. But what type of animal is best suited for violent riots to soothe the gentle hearts and souls while they smash windows and burn buildings? Is it an emotional support horse an emotional support goldfish, an emotional support emu, or an emotional support llama. You get one hint, one hint. His name is Caesar. <laughs> well, I'm going to let Gavin go first on this one because he's a, he's an expert on uh, emotional support animals. I, I, I know that. I'm not going to lie. A 100-pound lab was asleep on me just last night. So. There you go. Oh. Yeah, and, and it's not her. So. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. There ain't going to be a lot. I, I don't know. I, hey, I have no idea. I want to pull the audience and ask the audience. you. What? I'm putting you on the yeah. spot. Oh. This is your chance. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You paid for this. Llama, you want llama? Okay. She's going llama. I guess, I guess I'm going llama. <laughs> I put my team in America's youth. So it's not a horse because they're throwing bricks at the horses. So I'm going to have to go yeah. with, a, I'm going to have to, oh, an emu. Thank you. Emu? Yeah, I'm going okay. emu. Jamie goes emu. <laughs> Rosie, what do you think here? Okay, y'all know I have emus on my ranch. Yes. You are not going to grab that thing up and take it anywhere with you. They are not going anywhere with you. Trust me. I've tried it before. You can't get them in the car. And if you do get them in the car, you can't get them out of the car. And I've got horses on my ranch, too, and you're not going to do that. I'm going to say goldfish on this one. Wow. What do you guys think out here? What do you think? What do you think? Let's meet Caesar. We have a special guest, Cesar, the No Drama Llama, came out to march with these people tonight. This is his owner, Larry McCool. Larry, you were telling me you brought Caesar out here because he doesn't have, a lot of people don't have a voice. Explain that to me. Yeah, so Cesar has no voice of his own, but the more people don't have a voice, so he's here to represent the voiceless. Mask on! <laughs> yeah. Why didn't he put a mask on that Caesar? <laughs> yes, Caesar, the No Drama Llama, was there to help the riders feel better about themselves. Who had it out here? Who had it? Wow, not bad. You guys are pretty good biggest today. All right. After the riots, a few grandmoms got together and made llama fur hoodie masks for the sweet little rioters. <laughs> so they'd be warm when they throw bricks through the windows because it's cold important sometimes. Right? Yeah. yeah. That wraps up the big lottery. Let's give these guys a hand. What do you say? Yeah. And let's check out the scores. Yeah, we got two. Who cares what everybody else got? That's right. Uh, <laughs> It's superb. It's two out of three. Is My good. life matters today. <laughs> anybody out here get? Anybody out there here you get go, three? Horses, uh. Three. Three. Who got two? Oh, anybody got two? Yeah. Come on. Anybody got one? You know, th this week for once you guys are pretty good biggest. Usually you guys get your ass kicked. Not About bad this week though. All right, pretty good. good. In the audience. All right. So you folks at home, if you think you can challenge these guys, and generally speaking, that, but yeah, but not today. Yeah, they were good. But if you think you can beat them, let me know. Stop by TomasGrossTVShow.com. Drop me a line. You can challenge any two people on the entire panel if you want. And good luck. TV show. That's it. <laughs> Matt Gidry, what's coming up next? Tommy, next up, that CNN interview, but with Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo. You have to do it like that. Kathy Griffin, man, that's uglier than a box of. Snooping around the channels this week, they found this interview with Chris Cuomo, Governor Andrew Cuomo, and their interview with Kathy Griffin. Let's take a look. Hey, welcome back to CNN. My brother Governor Andy's on the show. Hey, Fredo, how you doing? Don't call me Fredo. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna tell Ma. Mom likes me better. Oh, I just got word we have breaking news. Breaking news? Ah, huh? what is it? Well, apparently Katie Geffen threatened Donald Trump with a syringe filled with air. Katie Griffin? Ah, uh, who the hell is Katie? Griffin? I have no idea. Oh, they're telling me she used to tell jokes or something. Never heard of her. Oh, she was that Ronald McDonald-looking guy, a girl that held Trump's decapitated head up with ketchup <laughs> on it. Yeah, I gotta remember that, but I mostly forgot yeah, about I still it. have no idea who she is. Hey, I still can't believe Hillary Clinton thanked me for saving lives. <laughs> oh, hang on. 
It looks like we're going to go live with Katie Griffin. Hey, Katie, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. But it's actually Cassie Griffin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What the hell is that? Look away, look away. She's going to turn us into stone. I cannot see that. Please, light my eyeballs on fire. All bleeds directly into my brain. Guys, hello. It's me, Cassie Griffin. Holy cow. You're a real person. You scared the crap out of me. Yeah. I thought Clash of the Titans released the Kraken. No. So what have you been up to, Kathy? Hey, I answer the questions around here. Excuse me, Fredo. Stop calling me Fredo. So, Kathy, what have you been up to? Well, I'm just loving my job here at Walmart. The people here love me, and I feel right at home. Plus, it pays the bills. <laughs> I haven't had a job in a long time. Oh, so you work at Walmart. <laughs> Good for you. Um, So you're on the nose for threatening the president again? I sure do. That's great, you know, and uh, we're just super proud of you over here. <laughs> Thanks! Can I have a job? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I oh, can get a job, you a job cleaning <laughs> toilets. You're lucky you're at Walmart. Well, if you can put in a good word for me, I don't mind cleaning toilets. So, I gotta know, what drives you to threaten the president like good you question. do? Well, I feel like a rock star when I do it. I get so much attention and people talk about me for like two days. So, you do it for the attention? <laughs> oh, I do it all. Oh, okay, so you're just a typical washed-up has-been nobody trying to get social media popular. I still got no idea who she is. <laughs> yeah, I'm super popular right now. Oh, which reminds me, I need to go and plug a toilet. Remember to follow me on Facebook. I'm making a comeback. All right, so uh, that's about all the time we got for today. All right, Fredo, tell Mom I said hi. I got to go screw up New York. Stop calling me Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call me Fredo. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. We got the worst governor, the worst TV anchor, and the worst comedian all in one video. It's wow. great. Wow. Let's thank the United Spot for that one. By the way, you can, you can find them on Facebook, on YouTube, and all over the place on the internet. Send us your videos if you want to be on TV. YankeeCowboyTV at Yahoo.com. Matt was coming up next. Tommy, we wrap up the show with How to Fix America. Stick around for the end. It's Tommy's Garage. It's us. I'm Tommy Atkins. It's time to close the garage. We'll be back next week with another great show. So remember to pull up a chair, pop open a beer. It's time for Tommy's Garage Live! <laughs>